welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of That's Hilarious. Today, I am your host, Jacob Flores. Welcome, my guest, C. Wayne, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. Pew, 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 pew. Pat's going to edit some applause uh, <laughs> for that moment right there. I'm going to start clapping <laughs> myself. Like, oh, I got it. This is me. This is my part. Producer yeah. Pat in the building. Shout yeah. out. What's ones up, and Pat? twos. Yeah, Fuck yeah, man. Thanks for coming, dude. Man, thanks for appreciate having Appreciate you. Man. I really appreciate it, bro. Nah, man. I appreciate you. We were chilling at LOL, and you were just like, let's work. And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dude. Let's, let's work, it. man. So let's I appreciate it. Up. Fuck yeah, man. How you doing? You doing all right? I'm good, man. I can't complain about much, man. Just being a comedian and a father and a black dude, so <laughs> I'm pretty booked. Like, you know, I'm pretty booked these days, you know. Yeah, how's I'm fatherhood good. going, yeah. man? I remember not too long ago. Like, was it a year ago, maybe? A year ago? Mm -hmm. You just had a kid, right? Yeah, so, yeah. So, like, what? Yeah. Uh, how old is... Uh, he'll be two in two. July. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. nice. Yeah, I got yeah, a I'm not one of those uh, weird people that, like, count the months and shit. Yeah? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's 30 he's 82 months, He's 86 nah. months right. today. Yeah. <laughs> right. he'll, he'll be two in July, man. Oh, so. man. Yeah, I have a four-year-old, and last night at Tiger, I had a little oopsies. Oh. Um, <laughs> I accidentally... Uh, said some shit I didn't mean to say. Right. <laughs> I meant to say I love fucking with him, but I said I love fucking him. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Disclaimers. Disclaimers across the board. Demonetized. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Red flag. The difference one word can make in a sentence. Right? Dude, <laughs> and it was so funny because I caught it when I said it oh. immediately. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, and no. And that was during a set? Yeah, dude. Uh, I was, and then I looked at my other joke, and I was like, oh, I can't say that now. I got to nah, keep moving. Yeah, like you, I had to acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. And then Dallas Van. <laughs> so Power <laughs> was hosting, and he comes up, and he makes a joke about it. And then Dallas goes up, and he makes a joke about it. And uh, it was just, it derailed uh, his set, too. It was funny. Yeah. In the beginning, uh -oh. in my ending, it was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't mean to say that, man. It happens, though. It definitely good. <sighs> So I don't fuck my son, uh, but, <laughs> but other than that, fatherhood has been going good, dude. <laughs> oh, man. How's fatherhood going for you, dude? <laughs> uh, definitely not going like that. Uh, <laughs> let's just put that shit out there. Like, <laughs> it's not going that way at all. But, uh, not as good, man. Uh, on, on a serious note, um, it really makes me like grow you know, as a person, yeah. as a human. I learned a lot about myself. And about kids in general, man. I didn't know this is my first one, you know. Mm, yeah, same. So I had to, um, even though I'm grown, I had to grow up quick. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, I had to grow up quick. How old are you? I'm thirty. I just You're turned 30? thirty, February twelfth. Nice. Yeah, yeah, happy yeah. belated. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, be thirty in October, that. man. So uh -oh. I get it. Yeah. Uh oh. Maybe maybe we can have a little it's, shindig it's or do wild. something. Yeah. Yeah. No kids allowed, of course. Do birthday okay. comedy shows. That seems to be the theme. That right. Loves to do. Right. Come to my birthday show. Yeah, dude. Nah, man, but yeah, I appreciate you reaching out. Appreciate you on the collab. You know, it means a lot. You have always been, You, whenever you're on stage, and I've seen you on stage, you've always made me laugh. I you, I think, lot, yeah, man, I think yeah, you've yeah. always been funny to me. Yeah, appreciate uh, that, man. That means a lot, brother. Really. Yeah, man, how's comedy going? Honestly, comedy has been taken off lately, man. Good. I've always uh, been the type to, you know, have people say, yeah, you've been funny, uh, things of that such. Um, but more bookings, like different yeah. places. It's a new place every month, seems like. I've never been before. Fuck yeah, I, man. You know, given given the opportunity to pull up and do my thing, man. So I'm, I just appreciate it. I'm blessed. Man. Good shit, dude. How, yeah. long, uh, so how long did you, how long have you been doing comedy? Because for me, March, this March, like, uh, marks will, like, be two years. Two years? Yeah. That's it? Just into it, oh, two years. What about you? Yeah, this, two years. Look at two, that. How long have uh, you been doing it? Uh, since... 2017 so we're okay. looking at coming up on like oh, six so, years so now. you how was the pandemic for you during comedy so the pandemic was crazy of course everything was like shut down bro like uh it really wasn't that many opportunities to work but at the same time it kind of put me uh you know in in a mode to just grind like whenever comedy picks back up i'm gonna be ready yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so. dude i think about that sometimes where mm -hmm. i was like I started post pandemic, so like I never experienced like that long comedy stopping. Yeah, you know, comedy stopping for me. There's no more comedy. Like, right. imagine being told that like you can't do comedy anywhere right anywhere. now. Anywhere, like that must have sucked, man. So I'm a little spoiled and privileged. <laughs> a little bit. Um, yeah, post post pandemic, a bit. man. 
Man. But that's good, dude. How's uh, the Outlaws of uh, comedy going, San Antonio's man? San Antonio's most wanted the Mac. man. Shout out, man. Shout out. I had Mac. I had Mac on here in an early, early episode. We really? recorded. We recorded at his apartment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, early, I think I early. Saw that. He was like episode honest. four. Like before there was video, it was only audio, mm. and we were just cutting up at his apartment, man. I like Mac. Mm. I appreciate his hustle. He's always doing something. Man, shout out to He's the always Mac, doing man. something, man. Brother, man. Shout, shout out to him, man. man everybody's doing good, <laughs> man. It's it's really exciting to um, see everybody get together, but not only that, to see everybody still branch off and yeah. know, do their own thing. Everybody holds their own weight, you know? Dude, for real, man. Yeah, so I think it's dope that you found, like, you know, a little uh, a click, as we call it. Like, you know, like, we have right. our own click here yeah. with Duterman Homie Bro, and it's it's similar, like, you know, because Scott does his own podcast, Pat does his own podcast, I do go. my own podcast, so it's there like, you, you know, it's dope that you can find a group of people you enjoy doing comedy right, with like mine, and work yeah. together and have fun with, you know, it's fucking really dope, dude, so that's it good. Was, it was really random, too, man. I'm, you know, I'm not... Yeah, how did that come about? Uh, honestly, I'm not the first person to go jump in a group, man. Yeah. Like, like, to be honest, like, believe it or not, I'm not like, hey, let me go be on your squad or let's go build a team. Um... We would just uh we really find ourselves around you know on the same shows a lot mm -hmm. and then uh once we did that actually uh mac is really my homie you know what i'm saying okay and i actually really got cool with jay scott and then pj me and pj really hang you know what i'm saying yeah and, um jay scott just kind of organized it and like hey let's just go by this let's just do our thing man nice and man we've been taking off ever since man shout out to the bros yeah dude shout yeah. out to pj and jay scott i like mm -hmm. them dude they're funny too yeah. uh i haven't seen uh pj in a while um but i remember he does he still do something at who's who or was he i know he was producing shows or something right. like that right like right. yeah he's um, funny I, I see him do videos and stuff like that which is good because i need to I if I respect anybody who does yeah. content, like you know what I mean. Right. It's hard, it's hard to create content and so put it out there constantly. Because I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be judged. <laughs> yeah. I feel cringe for doing this. Yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah. like, I you know they say, you just got to keep doing it. And then one of them blows up exactly, virally, and then man. I'm sure once you get a taste of that, you're like, oh okay, let me just do it again. Just do it. Just again. Keep doing now it. Was you never know. It's like a natural high for it. Right? Yeah. So I got to get in that. Have you ever you think about creating content? All the time. Yeah. All the time. I'm just uh, looking for my niche. I don't know yeah. what my lane would be, I guess, on the internet. Like, I know how to channel the energy on stage because the crowd's right there. You know, I can see what they like instantly and I can vibe off of it. But on the internet, the internet's kind of weird. First of all, whatever you do, mm -hmm. it's on there forever. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's on there <laughs> yeah. forever. So if, if you mess up or if you do something not so funny or that you don't Dog. approve of, that's me. I, I've made 100 videos and then I'll go back and delete them. Like, oh, man, I should have did something different. You can't here. fuck up in public anymore. Right. Because no. everyone will see it and no, everyone man. will make fun of you for it. like yeah. that's like bro like if you're famous like uh -huh. if you do some shit like imagine that just bro. everybody talking about it like oh, trending that would man. fuck with me um it definitely would fuck with me too. i would not handle <laughs> fame well uh so oh, bro, same, when bro. i blow up no just kidding right right, right. <laughs> just right about these future problems gonna have. Nah, man, i definitely agree I, I definitely agree with that though man it's definitely um it's hard man that's fucked it's like i put imaginary pressure on myself so i appreciate you guys that set up and just come do this on a regular like boom it's nothing we putting in work we putting it out there like we're grinding we setting it up we're knocking it out so shout out yeah to man. man it's for it's for dope but we were trying to use it as a vehicle like you know it's a good vehicle mm -hmm. to get bits material out of yeah something you just constantly just show up and do you know right you got to do it uh so that's you know starting off baby steps i want to eventually produce some skits you know sketches you or something like that create content that yeah, would be fun man you definitely um, came up with too man so yeah absolutely i have ideas yeah, man yeah for real because yeah. i'm like i want to do something like that but you know it's just finding someone to produce it Right. Someone who's good with the camera behind it, doing all that, and then finding other people's schedule and time. Mm -hmm. It's all, it's all fun. What man. would be your style? Like, what would be one of your uh, main topics you feel like that you would be attacking with these sketches and, <laughs> and everything? Well, I have this one idea about a uh, 
this like just taking from true life experiences like i have dude okay i've been at this job that i currently have for like four months oh wow, which okay. before this job <laughs> i went through jobs like i fucking oh, bro yeah. like it was stupid i've oh, yeah. had every job you could fucking think of same it was annoying lives, yeah. so i think i finally <laughs> found a good job but mm. before this um i just went through so many interviews dude and this one time i went to an interview for a dishwashing wow yeah, to be a dishwasher yeah, man. But they took the job process interview so serious that I thought it was funny. Like, <laughs> so, like, serious interviews for non serious jobs, right. like, that would be a skit I would want to make. <laughs> They're like, why should we hire you for a dishwasher? Right. And I, like, in my head, I was like, what the fuck are we doing here? Right. You're like, do you what? Because <laughs> I want me to wash the dishes. I specialize in soap, <laughs> motherfucker. Like, what? <laughs> like, what skills am I going to bring to the table? Like, do you need these fucking. So I just think that would be a funny idea of like just, you know, plug in whatever jobs you want, but just mm. non-serious jobs, serious interviews serious for interview. like, you know, so that'd yeah. be funny. You go to interview to be a trash man and they ask you questions like you're at freaking Google or something. Yeah, like, dude. <laughs> it's so like, dumb. Bro. Like, it's so dumb. So those are some of the ideas that mm. I have. But um, yeah, man, welcome to That's Hilarious. It used This used to be a theme podcast, which mm. I want to bring back. But like, I'll ask you off rip if you have anything off the topic, off the dome, if you will. Do you have anything in your life that you find hilarious? It could be sad. It could be funny. It could be like fatherhood, like something. Because that, that, that's what I used to love doing in this podcast is right. like finding something in your life that you find hilarious yourself. Like um, it could be past. It could be your childhood. <laughs> it could be future. It could be now, something that happened yesterday. It's it like, could, where do I start, man? I yeah. started yesterday, man. We could, we could just cover multiple things. But yesterday, man, like the most worst shit, like – weird thing happened to me so like i said uh like we talked about i got a son right yeah yeah you know what i'm saying you, you know you have kids you're gonna change the diaper or two oh. a, a, especially a very shitty one right? yeah 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 so fast <laughs> forward time um i tracked down this lady uh, i forgot her name i wish i could like plug her business in or something but um basically um she does the turkey legs okay all the time love turkey legs you know what i'm saying go get my turkey leg i'm tearing the turkey leg up you know what I'm saying? Turkey you ever is, been to the Turkey Leg Hut in Houston? In Houston, yeah, yeah. most definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's an definitely amazing my spot. vibe, Shout right? That that's, spot. that's me right there. I like that type <laughs> of, yeah. So I'm tearing this Turkey Leg up, man, and it, you know, it's so good. She got it dipped in sauce and flavor, and I'm licking my fingers and shit. <laughs> And and I get to one of my fingers, and I get up under the nail real, you know, weird, like, and I'm, you know, what kind of flavor is that? <laughs> oh, and I get to no. look at and it is some shit up under my nail. No. <laughs> it's shit up under the nail, no. man. Oh, dude. And I just put all my food down, man. I was like, that's fatherhood oh, for your God. ass. Like, <laughs> and that's coming. I wash my hands. I'm, I, I, I'm not a dirty motherfucker. I, like, <laughs> no, I, <know. laughs> I wash my hands. I'm, I'm just eating my turkey leg. I'm on my fingers real good. Yo. Like, what is that? That doesn't taste like buffalo no. lemon pepper. Like, what, what is that right there? And it was... How did you... So you just <laughs> knew immediately what it was? Yes. Like, like just just going through it, right? <laughs> knew because I have this flavor going on. Oh, no. I'm having a good time. I'm having time of my life. As a dad, listen. <laughs> as a dad, the best time you can have is eating an entree, of course, or something by yourself that you've been wanting. <laughs> That's the time. That's the time of your life. Boom, I'm having the time of my life with my damn turkey leg, and I get up <laughs> under that nail. Who who told me to do this shit? <laughs> and there was some little baby shit up there. <laughs> <laughs> little baby shit up in there, man. Oh my god. I'm scarred. I'm scarred for Dude, life. Dude, I'm scarred for you. <laughs> oh I'm my scarred, god. Bro. I've <laughs> never heard that in my life, nah, dude. Holy real, shit. Man. Just tough, man. So what was your immediate reaction of just like, did you react like? I, I, I mean, I don't promote this type of behavior, but I was so mad at my son. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so mad at my son. And like, I didn't yell at him, do anything yeah, to him. Yeah, but yeah. I was, he walked by and I just kind of scolded him a little yeah, bit. Like, you, <laughs> wait till you get older and I'll tell you about <laughs> this shit. Like, you, you owe me some money or something now. Dude. Like, <laughs> oh, my real. God, dude. That is hilarious. Oh, man. Yeah, just different shit you go through, man. That what about might... you, man? <laughs> <laughs> I can't follow that. Dude. <laughs> It'd be crazy having to you, baby. <laughs> dude. <laughs> <It'd> be... <laughs> 
<laughs> Enough about me. That, no, might, <laughs> that might have been the funniest. Oh, man. That's hilarious to date on this oh, podcast. Holy shit, man. Wow. Is, Bravo, a dude. Day in the life, man. A day, day in the life, life right? Yeah, holy man. shit. He had man. pizza that day and shit. Like, <laughs> <it was> just, <laughs> fucking pepperoni. Oh, man. <laughs> like this guy here. Oh, dude. That's insane, man. <sighs> That's so funny, man. Wow. Nah, man, just wild shit. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. So you jo- have you brought that to stage? No, no. Um, I, you should. I, You're I, going to, right? I thought about working on it, but I was yeah. a little bit too embarrassed. Like, I don't want people <laughs> oh, no, you to try to talk, talk to me from that. across the room now. I was like, oh, you got to. That's the shitty breath, man. You got to talk about <laughs> that, dude. Day. That's like, so funny. Yeah, yeah, man. man. I'd recommend working on the bit, <laughs> telling that story for sure. I, I might put something together. I'm that's like, immediately funny. <laughs> that's so good. It's wow. Tragic. Dude, speaking of, yeah. um, so I have... You've been doing comedy for six years. Do you yeah. have like a funny, like worst show experience ever? Like I'll start off. Like go I, ahead. Go ahead, I, go ahead. one of the worst shows <laughs> I've ever been a part of. Shout, first off, shout out to Clifton Simmons. All right? <laughs> I why love the man. Why do we start here? I love the man. <laughs> why do we start? I love him. It wasn't his fault. Yeah. It was the situation that yeah. it was presented in yeah. um he's like yo can you do a spot on the east side mm-hmm. east side ice house or something like that yeah, bar. I, I was like exactly what you're talking about <laughs> i was like yeah man i'll go i'll be there it was me george rosales and oh, chandra wow. murthy chandra, chandra, <laughs> so, <wow>. so dude <laughs> we get there and like we're n- he's not there so we have to set it up we knew this going in he told us about it we're like okay cool we get there and it is a wake for someone who had just died and we are responsible with putting on a comedy show now and making these people laugh and feel better and are you serious i am hosting it i'm like a months into comedy right. i don't know what i'm doing right. and i'm like <laughs> fuck i told clifton about it and he's like yeah before you go up just ask anybody if they want to come up and say anything about the person who died I was like, all right. So I'm on the microphone and I'm like, hey guys, anybody want to come say anything about Mm -hmm. the person who just died? And they're like, we can't right now. It's just too hard. Right, right. So about these jokes, like, you know, it's like, dude, (laughs) like, what? Like, yeah. yeah. So now, like, I'm like, oh no, dude, we have to, like, make these people feel better now. And, like, one of the worst days of their lives. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. And I ate a bag of dicks. (laughs) bring up george george is like what the fuck <laughs> and then chandra goes up and chandra like just does 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> wow right chandra's ready like, like yeah chandra, chandra don't give a fuck chandra, he's man. like yeah he opened up with his opener and uh he just, just oh, kept wow. it moving yeah <laughs> and it was just so funny man and it was just such a worst show i've been a part of not in the sense of like just but being put in that situation it was like hilarious to me yeah. like that is hilarious in a sense like that's what the show is about like you know tragedy plus uh timing equals com- comedy you know what i mean as oh, yeah, uh, most definitely Scott i like that and pat like to tell I like me that. i agree with that but yeah so i thought like that's you know that's hilarious like what the fuck i gotta make these people laugh after they're just currently mourning you know what i mean <laughs> right but like, i i, I was so young that i didn't into the comedy i still am i'm only right. two years but like even just months in like i didn't know how to handle that like uh, you know what i mean i wasn't ready for that so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so no no offense no shade to cliff at all you know i mm-hmm. appreciate the stage time anytime he gives me stage time yeah <clears throat> he does a lot for san antonio so Most shout out to him yeah. but um, you know, like it was just fucking. Oh, I didn't know how to manage myself in that situation, man. Damn, so. that's that's tough, bro. I, I wouldn't even know what to think. Like, yeah, like walking the building. Like, have you ever had anyone like heckle you crazy or like try to start a fight with you or anything off the wall, random, like a worse show type of story like that? Um. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this. Okay. And I mean this in the best way. <laughs> I mean this in the best way possible, right? So, yes, I, I've had hecklers f- for sure, right? Okay. I'm not going to say this is the worst show ever because, honestly, the experience I gained from this situation yeah. stuck with me for life. Okay. I, I'm dead ass. I'm speaking to you from the bottom of my heart right now. I'm, I'm, I'm for real. Okay. All right, I, I really appreciate this experience. Um, I appreciate the people 
that booked me and shit. Okay, so this is what happened. Okay, I get booked out of town, right? Mm -hmm. You already had me at out of town. You okay. feel me? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get booked out of town, and the guy's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I own the venue. Uh, we're going to throw a show for the special needs people. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when he say that, my idea is, okay, it's like charity. We're going to take all the proceeds from this event he's showing mm. and give it to the special needs people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm in. I'm down. Okay. I'm in it. I get my set. Good heart, good intentions. Yeah, yeah. Let's, good good heart, good intentions. It. Let's do it. I love okay. it, man. I, I want to be a part of something positive like that. You yeah, feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah, yeah. We get there and come to find out the show is actually for the special needs people. <laughs> you feel me? True story. True story. True story. <laughs> and I'm not and, and I appreciate the booking. Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. but and especially if you know me, if you heard any of my material, <laughs> any of my fucking jokes, like yeah. half my set is fucked up. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, dude. So I get there. I'm saying, you know, it's like, um, shout out to them, bro. Um, um <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so he owns a bar, okay, and then he owns like a little school next door. It's like a whole shopping strip. Him and his whole family own it. They own the corner store. It's okay. a pair. It's a barber shop on the end. That it's a family. They're really doing their thing. Like mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay, so I get there, you know. So I walk up to the bar. The bar is locked. Like oh shit. Like you know. So where is everybody? Am I that early? Like nah, the, the show is next door. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so I walk in <laughs> and I walk right the fuck back out. I, <laughs> I had to, I had to get myself together for what you know what I'm saying was getting ready to do. So come to find out, like I said, the show is for the special needs people, mm -hmm. as in they're the audience. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're just like, now I'm I up can't here. say none of my jokes. I'm so. two hours away from home. I'm just like, all of my, half of my set is dead. Dirty. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah, just, yeah. just out of there. You walk in, <clears throat> it's a classroom. It's not tables, it's desk. Like, you know what I'm saying? In a shit. classroom? It's a classroom. Oh, like, shit. It's a, you know, it's, it's, again, it's where special needs people <laughs> like go. I guess during the day. I never knew nothing about this shit. Like, I never knew. God, man, I'm telling you, like, and I'm, 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 not, I'm, not t I'm not talking about, like, kind of special needs or maybe they repeated a class. I'm talking about, like, drool, like, <laughs> rolling eyes, like, you know what I'm saying? Words that you don't know what they're making out. Like, for real. Yeah. Some of the coolest people I ever met, though. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, we yeah. went up there. Um, shout out to Duck Easy. Duck Easy was up there, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Duck Easy killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Duck Easy killed him. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how the fuck he did it to this day. I lose sleep about that. Like, how did Duck Easy <laughs> go in there and kill him? Like, they, they just ate lunch and shit. I think they had, like, Sloppy Joes that day. It was a great experience but not the worst show ever just the most different environment that i ever walked into so i go in there um i crack a few jokes um i try to do crowd work if that <laughs> oh, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if that makes sense um they didn't laugh too much other people were laughing like you know what i'm saying yeah um yeah i did one or two jokes for my set um, needless to say, it went over a lot of people's head, but <laughs> all in all, it was a good vibe. <laughs> yeah. I would do it again. <laughs> and I definitely appreciate the opportunity <laughs> yeah. that was given that day. Damn, I, I learned dude. a lot. It really humbled me a lot, man. That's hilarious. Just being in there. My, yeah, son, my son was there. He wasn't having it. He walked in, screamed, and he just like ran out. <laughs> oh man! And I'm like, son, you, you're embarrassing us, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it together, brother. Dude, that's funny. Yeah. Have, uh, I had uh, my damn. That's funny. Think, thinking about like bringing my son to a comedy show, right. but like that was like obviously a very family friendly event, right? Type, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah it was like a. a it was like being <clears> at a <throat> big family like reunion. Almost. It wasn't a late night dirty show at a oh. bar or nothing like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I, I did not know what to say though. Uh, yeah, dude, I can imagine. 
I didn't know what to say when I got it there. Like, so what's up with fire trucks? Yeah, so, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! I think I think I think one of my jokes that hit was like, "Who ate all the applesauce?" Like y'all, y'all knew I was coming. <laughs> y'all knew I was on the way. Y'all ain't saved me a corner of applesauce. applesauce. But then we played like a little dating game. I was trying to it's hook like two of them. It's always applesauce, it's bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Facts. This is this is real life, though. This is a true story. That's why I don't mind talking about it. This. Oh, oh, dude! No, I know, man. I, I, my mom works with special needs kids, and every time I go visit mm-hmm. her at work, like I just walk out of there feeling like such a piece of shit. I'm yeah, like, God, dude, like, these people just love life. You know uh, what I mean? Exactly. Like these people, these people love and appreciate their life. But it make you think about yourself, dude. Exactly. Like, yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. God damn it, I'm so selfish. I'm a <laughs> fucking like, animal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate it. Like so, I'm really like, blessed, man. Like, so like, yeah, definitely yeah. humbles you. Definitely puts things in a different pr- uh, perspective. Yeah, for and you're sure. Like, all right, this I need to. Stop sweating the small shit. Yeah, you know I mean? like, like I could be someone else. Yeah, just be oh, grateful. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good, man. Right. Yeah, it makes you. It's a lot of. It's a good gratitude check, you right? Know? Like, uh, I think that's what it was. I think God put me there at that time. <laughs> yeah, like, you yeah. know, what I'm saying? in that position on that day <laughs> to do that. It was cool though. Like I was um, uh, it was this was back um, you know, what I'm saying in my other days. But I was um, I went outside, like we was getting ready for the show and shit. And uh, I was smoking. It was like behind the building. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> One of them smoking. comes out and asks to hit it or what? No. He didn't, he didn't ask to hit it. He pulls <laughs> yeah. his own shit out of his pocket. Oh, True yeah. story. Let's go. <laughs> True story. Duck, if you ever see this, I need you to vouch for this, bro. True story. <laughs> the dude, he walking up. I said, man, why, why are you walking over here? He know damn well. Yeah. I said, they're going to be looking for him. They're going to be wondering, <laughs> where is he? He pull up. He pull out a damn Rillo packet out of his pocket. Damn. He pulls his own shit out. Hell yeah, dude. Didn't say nothing. They like to fuck around too. They like yeah. to have fun too. <laughs> they yeah. And that's why I learned like shit. We all we all human, man. We all yeah. the same, bro. Don't judge nobody. <laughs> that's so do funny. the same shit you do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro. Exactly, life changed. That changed my life, bro. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, man. That how early was that into your career? Was this recently or was it oh, um it's like a couple years ago. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it was like a couple years ago, <laughs> man. Shout out to the um guy that booked me though. Um yeah, his name's Slim. I forgot his family's name. His name's Slim, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's funny. Like when you dude. when you pull up on the building it says Slim's on it. He's young, he's like our age. So okay. It was very motivational to even go there and see that. So nice. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. You've been uh <laughs> so, so I got trending. Ain't shit trending on Twitter that I found interesting, nah. except the UFC and sports and stuff like that. But I don't yeah. follow. Do you follow sports a lot um, often? But like being a dad, it's kind of hard to. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, I, like, that's one thing I stopped doing. Like I loved. I used to love sports and following it so much. Mm-hmm. I'd be the dork knowing all these stats and e- stuff. And exactly. Then I just, man, you can't you follow it no more as much as you like to with comedy and then yeah, being a dad. So yeah. that's funny, man. Um, <clears throat> one thing I like to do on here is give recommendations uh, out to people. And I love my big three recommendations is uh-huh. like comedy, movies, and music. You know what I mean? Right, so right, right. comedy, do you have anything that you've seen lately that you thought was hilarious that people should go out there and see? Um, or just one of your all-time favorite comedians? Like, um, Okay, so definitely an all-time favorite comedian, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac? Yeah, 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 Bernie Mac. That's, Dude, I do a solid Bernie Mac impression. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I got to see this. Let me check it out real quick. No, nah, no, nah, Bernie, Bernie Mac, that's... Is he your goat? Go- yeah, yeah, that's, okay. that's my goat. If you had a Mount Rushmore of comedy, do you know who would be on it? Bernie Mac. <sighs> okay, let's do Bernie Mac. Okay. Uh, let's put... Man, that's kind of tough. All right, so Bernie Mac. I like Kevin Hart. I know Kevin Hart is not everybody's favorite, mm-hmm. but especially if you want to start bringing money and you know what i'm saying just a <clears throat> career success into the conversation i feel like yeah you, you got to put kevin hart in there somewhere yeah um cat williams is definitely one of the goats man okay you know despite all this off stage you know what i'm saying yeah Shit, yeah like yeah. cat williams is definitely one of the goats um mike Epps, bro mike <laughs> mike Epps gets me he, and he's not even the strongest I, I don't feel like he's even like the strongest joke writer or 
I like him though. He's like, naturally yeah, funny. He's naturally. He's naturally he reminds funny. me of me. He's naturally funny, <laughs> like just on the regular, on the daily. I've been listening to. I, man, I go through these spells of music of where I'll go to genre to genre. I've been listening to mm-hmm. a lot of country music lately, but today really? I woke up on hip hop and J Cole, and really? uh, his he's got a skit, uh, opening skit on oh. J Cole's song. Really? Um, <laughs> fuck, what is it called? But uh, he's like, married men act totally different when they're with their wives. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah like, exactly. Hey, with the vibe, fella, how you doing? Yeah. You see him by himself. <laughs> like, Where the, the bitches? Is? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, case in point, though. Like that's just, dude. That's Mike, brilliant, though. To Mike, me. that's brilliant. If man. dude, I recently saw Mike Epps on. Um, and Cat Williams, actually. They're both on this show. If you have Netflix, type in like Snoop Dogg's comedy show. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Watch the whole shit. Yeah, Dude, yeah, 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 Mike yeah. Epps' set on that oh, made God. me laugh out loud <laughs> so hard. I watched it with my brother. And we were in his family, and we were just laughing so hard at Mike Epps. Dude, he man, he yeah. he gets me he's hard that, sometimes. Man, bro, that, so that's funny that you say that, man. I I like that. He's one of those guys. And I, then if, I, yeah, of course, like uh, Cat Williams, like Pimp Chronicles, like that was legendary. Like oh, those bits man. will live forever. I like you know? I like Cat because he's hilarious, of course, but he talks about like real things. Yeah, like we all supposed to as comedians, but. He really takes it there. Hmm. He's not scared to take a stand on a certain yeah. subject. He's not scared to speak <laughs> out on it. He's not scared of being blackballed. No, he's, he's, you're gonna get Cat Williams every time. He speaks his truth for real. Like yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. saying, like you know, he's not afraid. And I respect that, you know, because mm-hmm. I feel like at a certain point, Cat Williams, he got like I don't know what it was. I don't know if you want to call it like he. The politics of comedy, mm-hmm. like for some reason, I got that vibe of like was trying to blackball him or like you know outcast him for like speaking his truth right, and stuff right. like that and um yeah so it was, it was weird later in his career but like <laughs> Most i get it man i get it it's got to be annoying it's got to be frustrating to mm-hmm. see things and you know no one speaks on it so you got to speak on it yourself and you that could get to, you right. that could offend people mm-hmm. and then that could like uh, some people might not like that so they don't fuck with you for it and that's mm-hmm. unfortunate but like yeah i'd I saw, I, I noticed some of that stuff, but I, yeah, Cat Williams is. Um, you know who I like, um, really, as far as today's, like mm-hmm. right now, I like Carlos Miller and uh, Carlos Miller. Carlos oh, Miller. from the uh, South Show, the yeah, yeah. 85. I, 85 South yep, Show, 85 yeah, yeah. South, man. Carlos Miller is funny. Is he? Does he uh, do stand up? Stand up? Yeah. Or he uh, used to, right, or something like that. I remember I was talking with Scott about this the other mm-hmm. day about the I, uh, the I, 85 South Show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, him, Chico, and DC. DC Young Fly. Yeah. DC is hilarious. They have a great chemistry on stage together. Yeah. That thing that they do where they just cut up and just have fun and talk oh, and like man. that is a great thing that they got mm-hmm. going on for sure. And, and a lot of comic uh, comics are doing that now. I yeah. Like you'll, see, you'll you'll get two comics on stage. Now. Mm-hmm. You'll get three comics. Um, we do it from time to time to be honest. Uh, yeah. We'll, oh yeah. Three of us will get up there. We'll try to pull out of energy from a crowd. That's pretty cool. Like yeah, man. So yeah, if you, especially if you got chemistry. Like I remember being Scott. We're doing these barbershop shows. We did like three barbershop shows together. I remember you guys was doing that. And we tried, but it wasn't like we didn't find a rhythm. We didn't find a groove because right. like so just it's hard, man. Uh-huh. It's definitely hard. And he, I think he wanted it one way. I wanted it one way and stuff like Type that. Shit. So it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, he wanted it to be more like um, the underground rap league, I think, or the battle mm-hmm. raps. You ever see those? Yeah. Like he's like, I say something. You, you say, say something. something. Yeah, say, yeah. Say, say, yeah, yeah. And I was like, damn, that dude. guy, that cr- J. Scott's crazy, man. Don't just don't mind him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crazy. Shout out to my brother, man. <laughs> we we talk all the time. Sometimes we're at odds, but that's that's like a family member right now yeah man every time i've seen him he's been cool you know Mm -hmm. uh fucking cool guy cool dude i remember one time me him and mac were at uh a bar on walsham al used to book it or what the fuck what's that main ice the main ice Ice house house or something like that uh on main street or something like that was it called pat you know what i'm talking about Main Street, yeah, there you go. Mm. Um, I remember like early in some of my comedy days, uh, Lafar booked it. This was yeah. he was like, um, shout out to uh, Jay Lafar, Lafar man. man. Yeah, I always uh, was a fan of his. Work. <laughs> that dude's crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah, he's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he had put me on a show, and 
I get there early, so everyone's chilling outside. I go to the bar, I grab a drink, I take my drink outside, mm-hmm. not being aware of like the TBAC laws and right, shit like right. that. And you know, I'm like, oh fuck, okay. So yeah, the bartender, somebody, uh... the short little fucking fucking punk face, fucking fuck face motherfucker, dude. I still, he's <laughs> like, I don't like him. I still do. To this so, day, it makes right? me so mad still to this day. He comes outside and he's like, hey, you can't fucking drink that out here and everything like that. But you he said it like that. But he came at me with such high energy mm-hmm. to where I was like. All right, dude, I'm not going to comply with anything you're saying right, right now at the speed that you want me to. Because, like, you could <laughs> talk to me a different way right now, dude. Most definitely. You know man. what I mean? Big um, respect, so, like, man. I wasn't moving at his pace he would like me to move because mm-hmm. I was like, all right, first off, man, like, you're coming at me all wrong. Yeah. So, I'm already not going to, like, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. No, so, uh, I start going inside and he doesn't like how slow I'm walking inside. So, he yanks the drink out of my hand. And he's like, you're fucking banned from this place. Like, and I didn't give him no fucking attitude, you know, smart mouthy shit. I was just like, hmm. I was holding my tongue, you know, but I was Damn. like, all right, dude, whatever. I'll fucking do what you want. And he was that adamant about it? Though? Yeah, he was like, he's like, fucking, God damn it. So then I, so I'm like, I got to tell Al what happened because like now he doesn't want me on the show. I'm supposed to do a spot. So let me go explain why I don't want him to think that <laughs> I just bailed on the, the show. Video, like, yeah. <laughs> so I do, I go inside to try and tell Al this. And as soon as I go inside, He's like, you, get out of here. Like, you fucking get out of here. I said you were banned. And, like, these two other dudes what come the out. Fuck? And they're, like, pushing me out. What? Like, physically, Like, dude. security now. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, yeah, yeah. I was so hot, bro. I was so mad. Like, I couldn't explain what happened to Al. So it made me look like some drunk. Oh, like you just Like, flaked. some drunk. Like, uh, yeah, who was causing a problem or something like that. I was like, dude. Fuck. Fuck Main Street. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, shout out to that bar. I told no, yeah, I told yeah. the far what happened one time, and he was like, "Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. That's unfortunate." That sounds like that he was dude. cool about it though. Like, yeah, I just wanted to make that clear that I was like, "Yo, I didn't want to seem like I was causing problems or anything mm. like that." I was like, "No, I never." I, I mean, as far as but I remember Mac yeah. and Mac and uh, Jay were there, and <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Damn, dude, like you should have fucked them up or something like that." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, that, that sounds like, dude, like I wanted to should have beat his ass. Or I'm like, fuck, it's not worth it. Like, I'm not, I've never been in a fight in my life. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm not oh, really? a confrontational person. Yeah, and it's bro. definitely not going to start with that fucking guy. <laughs> but, uh, because he was so annoying. He was a short little fuck. Like, even if, even if I feel like I could beat you up in my yeah. delusional mind, I'm still not going to want to because right, I'm not, right. I don't fight. Like, I'm not going to fight you. Um, oh, but being What's a father, dude, it's weird. Like, I, mm envision scenarios of like me not reacting well to someone fucking with my kid exactly. like you know what i mean where i'm just that'll like, be the thing that i'm like yeah if, if anything be. that's gonna happen maybe <laughs> i don't know it'd be some dumb shit yeah. but like other than, like especially a stranger you know i'm not gonna mm. get, i don't fuck, i'm not gonna do that no, but um uh, man. man yeah that's funny so being on stage together dude that's cool they yeah. uh Y'all should fucking definitely do that because nobody does that in mm. San Antonio that right. I know of. Right. So that could be something y'all could fucking cultivate and corner and find a niche for of like putting on those types of shows. And I know Mac likes to do like variety shows. He always loves to have like music on stage. He's right. an entertainer. Yeah. Like man. mindset. Exactly. You know what That's I mean? What so I'm like, about That's cool, dude. So good for him, man. Good for y'all, dude. That's dope. I hope y'all do something with Appreciate that and it, fucking continue to <clears throat> move forward and do some dope shit like that man oh, we definitely will man. that's dope dude so we comedy. should all, we should book a book a show man like yeah man yeah. i've i've been wanting just to find a good venue to start hosting shows at you know what i mean mm-hmm. like there's mm-hmm. no reason i just gotta find it find a good venue you know so what would be your ideal venue i don't know man like i want something it's hard to build something so i think something that already has like a regular outing like a crowd like i love the things that the Rosaleses are doing with Black Potion because that that spot is popping. They do right. have like improv, so then they just do the stand up. So they already have an audience coming, you know, what right, I mean? which right. makes it easier. Hmm. So I gotta check that out, man. Shout out uh, to the Gonzalez. Brothers, yeah, man. man. Shout out to the PMC crew. Yeah, that's dope, real. dude. So that was comedy uh, recommendations. Um, mm-hmm. Movie recommendations. Do you have any favorite movie, all time favorite movies or actors or something you like to? See a good movie. That's hard. I can yeah. sit here all day. I can give you like <laughs> ten movies right now. That's hard. Um, one movie, um, because I like different movies for different reasons, right? Mm. But more on the silly side, like a movie that just makes me laugh. Uh, you ever seen Next Day Air? Yeah. Bro, I cried yeah, laughing yeah. at Next Day Air, bro. <laughs> Next Day is hilarious. Gooch and um, yeah. the other guy and Mike Epps is in there. Who's like, the other guy? He's on. He's been in so many things. Um, I call him Carl Winslow, but that's not his name. Um, Next Day Air, dude. Yeah, um, the yeah, guy. Next he was Day in Air. The Wire. 
Um, yeah, did you ever yeah, watch yeah, The Wire? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That used to be. I used to rush home to watch that. He was in Above the Rim. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I forgot his name. Fuck, it's right here. Hold on. He he um, deserves to have his name known because he's, he's been in the game for Wood Harris. Yeah, Wood Harris. There you go. Yeah, Wood yeah. Harris. Omari Hardwick is in. Most Def was in it. Most Def. Yeah, Most Def was in that. <laughs> yeah, full shit, man. Emilio Rivera, uh-huh. dude. Lauren London was in that. Lauren show. London was in there. Wow. Yeah, yeah you, man. We get uh, I'll, I'll call him. I, see, and that's another thing. I. I always call people by their character names. Yeah. <laughs> I want to learn to start uh, learning their names. Uh, That's but, funny, But man. you get Ghost from Power in there. Yeah, know? Next Day Air yeah, was yeah. funny. That's a funny one, man. That's and then hilarious. I remember the, the ending scene where they're all yeah. like, where they're all shooting each other and the uh, guy's just like, he walks away. So you thought away. she was just going to come yeah. in and take my shit? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's okay. a funny, good movie. I actually really like that movie. It's funny okay. that you brought that up. Next Day Air. Man, a lot. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a lot of movies, but Next Day Air, bro. Bro, that is just great. Damn, dude. You know what I watched recently uh, was The Founder. You ever see that? No. About the McDonald's? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How they, um, Michael Keaton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How they came up off of um, the guy in the basements. Uh, work, yeah, basically. dude. Like, yeah. That's wild, American man. American in a nutshell. Goddamn. Yeah, for real, <laughs> basically. dude. I don't know why that's like a good movie for me. I enjoy that movie no, no, so no, much. No, no, it's pretty solid. Um, Michael Keaton's solid, though. I yeah, like him. Yeah, always, anything. always, bro. Absolutely. Always. Um, okay. uh, what were you going to say? My bad. Um... As far as just like good movies, I lost my mind when I first saw Inception. Oh yeah, yeah. I dude, that movie was like it was it was okay. It was weird. It was too long for me. I was like, it's long as shit. I was Inception like, yeah. is long. No, <laughs> lie. no, I agree with you on that. Inception is long. You could take a nap, wake up, and be in the middle of the movie. Right? <laughs> like, nah, yeah, that shit's man. long. No, no cap, bro. Yeah, dude, I feel you. Uh, what you been listening to, man? Music wise, what are some um, music recommendations you want to put out there? For I like. You? You know, I like hip hop and shit, but I can't do too much of that. You know, it's bad for your energy. I like, I really like '90s R and B. Believe it or not, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like smooth some brandy. Shit. Yeah. Man, I jam some brandy. Some Lauren Hill, Lauren Hill, Erica Badu, Erica Badu, uh, Drew Hill and Cisco and everything Drew like and Cisco. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jagged edge for real, man. That's, Dude, that's so funny. I never listened to any Cisco. No, <laughs> is man. this music okay, actually good? Because that's just Cis- a cliche Bruh. song song. But he's right, like, right. You know, he's got like good music. See, before he was. Cisco, he was, I mean, he was always Cisco, but he was in. <laughs> before he was Thong Yeah, yeah, before song. he was Thong Song, he was in Drew Hill. Oh, that's that's okay, when you okay. get some real quality music. It's <laughs> okay. real instruments. They're harmonizing. It's, yeah. They're talking about getting cheated on. They're relatable. <laughs> like, no, for real. The, yeah. we, we got some time. Hey, for the people out there. Oh, we got some heartbreak some, stories. Yeah. Look up some Drew Hill, man. Dude, you. that's funny. Drew Hill. I remember, a st- so I remember like one of the first times I realized I got cheated on. Was and I was real just, life. I was because you never know, you yeah, never know if it happens. No, for real, you yeah. don't know, really know. Uh, that's why I got problems, Pat. I got trusted. Uh, <laughs> Pat, what's wrong with your man? <laughs> why you give him a hug? What's going on, man? <laughs> Dude, but I because I was so young and dumb, still am, but I was naive about it because I was right. like so in love. You believe anything when you're uh-huh, love some yeah. stupid shit. That's not true. She loves me. Yeah, Who we're in toxic, dude. It was toxic. So, dude, we're in. I had a hunch, and I hate to admit this. I hate yeah. that I did it. I'm not yeah. proud of it, but I went through that phone. phone. Dude. Oh, I man. went through that phone. I was finding problems. I was yeah. looking for trouble. Looking and for I trouble. found it, right? Oh, man. But I'm glad that I did. That changed your life, don't it? When you yeah. go looking for that shit, and you find it. Yep. So, dude, I see a picture of her and the dude in bed together. Like, they're just, like, taking it. They took a, a selfie, selfie laying down together. Oh, we just fucked. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Dick right? was good. Like, so, uh, <laughs> I just fucked up. That's heartbreaking for real. Like, yo, y'all got to commemorate? Like, you got to commemorate this with a selfie right now? Fuck, man. But that's, that's what, that even that's hurt tough. more because I was like, you actually like this dude? Yeah. You're, taking, you're taking pictures with him? Exactly. <laughs> but, dude, I found it. And I was like, what is this? And she's like, that's you. <laughs> dude, and for a second I looked back at the phone. I was like, "Is that me?" <laughs> I did shave that one time. I had that haircut. You right? I put on some weight that week. You right? <laughs> Fuck you right? Dude, and I didn't want to believe it. No, nah, uh, I've I've learned. Me personally, I've learned not to, <laughs> not to go through the phone, bro. Yeah, no, I don't. Do I'm that telling shit. you, I, I I used to be like that guy, like just on top of everything. More. I used to check the socials. I used to check the yeah. Uh, 
bro. That was especially like young dumb days. Like I yeah, was like bro. probably twenty one. That's uh, definitely a quick way to run your own day. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quickest way. You want you want to have a fucked up day real quick? Go see your girl phone. <laughs> I said far away from that phone. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, man. I was really, really insecure. Mm-hmm. Like, super insecure. Like, just fucking, like, oh, we, we're parking somewhere? Where'd you park next to the hot guy? Like, on some <laughs> dumb shit. Like, on some dumb, dumb shit. Bro. Anything, bro. Nah, nah that's, that's Anything. anybody, bro. Nah. <laughs> my, my thing used to be um, looking. Yeah. Like, you look longer than 1.5 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Let's see it's like you see somebody time. walk by, you see him, oh, okay, then you go back. But if, yeah. you, if they're walking by, and you got to turn your neck to keep it. It's like, yeah, you want to fuck him? Now? Like, <laughs> you want to go home with him now? Like, why the fuck are you looking at him like that? Like, Dude, it's like the Seinfeld. Yeah. Uh, like, it's like looking at cleavage. You can't fucking stare. You got to just. You just got to yeah. and then go about your business. Can't man. fly too close to the sun, dude. Very you, respectful. You get burned. <laughs> very, very accurate, bro. Damn, dude, that's funny, man. I'm trying to figure out relationships right now. Uh, this is... I'm a recovering man whore, you know. Um, you know, respect my DMs at this yeah. time, please, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so so you, you just outside now, right? Damn, dude, I'm outside. I'm for the streets. <laughs> uh, no, I deleted my dating apps recently. Oh, really? Uh, so I'm like trying to just, you know, not you intervention give too shit? much energy to <laughs> women right now. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've definitely experienced a time period. We, you go from Tinder to this to that to this. And yeah. yeah man. It's funny, man. It's weird. I'm just like, okay, let me chill out. Let me, uh, yeah, you know, stop being a, a dummy. And then yeah. plus those day, those dating apps, you know what I'm saying? They're just full of trannies. I don't know if we can say that. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> I'm just, and I'm, I can I say tranny. Like, I'm kind of yeah. like them. I'm yeah. into them. <laughs> we can say it if we like them. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I have nothing against nothing. A homophobic? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Shit. I had a manager that was a trainee. He gave me overtime. I, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> you do what you do. I'm nothing against it. <laughs> she gave me overtime. <laughs> she gave, gave me overtime. I, I appreciate it. You know how long I was trying to get overtime at that job? They signed me right up. Didn't give a fuck. I ate, worked 80 hours in a week. I didn't care. Shout out to trainees. Shit. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I'm nothing against anybody. Bro. Oh, man. That's fucking hilarious, dude. There's some funny ones out there. Like oh, there's yeah. some funny ones that actually do comedy shows and shit. Like we mm-hmm. we used to, we had this. Um, I grew up with uh this guy girl, uh Ira. Her name is Ira Ira Descent Iridescent. Uh-huh. Um, she's a drag queen in the San Antonio scene. But she like no shit. We early on this podcast, I had her come in because mm. I thought it would be funny if she came in and just roasted Pat and Scott, yeah. like, dude, and it was <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah, man. So That's they're cool. they're pretty funny, man. Um, <clears throat> we should do a, a drag show. <laughs> <laughs> It would be like your your show that you did. Honestly. <laughs> but just all drag. You you want to know something about that? Oh, I didn't know that shit was real. All special needs drags uh, only. Oh, <laughs> get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun show. A special needs <laughs> drag Dude, I bet show. you they would kill at that show, dog. It would be <laughs> drool and show. pantyhose <laughs> every fucking where. Like, <laughs> Everywhere, bro. That is hilarious. <laughs> a special needs drag show. Fuck, man, dude. That's I, fun. I, I would be the promoter. I would. I'd be willing to promote this. Shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. It, you know, you're leaving money on the table out there. Think about it. You make these things happen. <laughs> we call it slow changes. <laughs> 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 oh fuck! All right, I'm gonna get jumped for that one. I'm gonna leave. It alone. I'm gonna leave that shit alone. Damn oh, man, damn. Have you ever? Uh, we were talking about um, fucking fights. Have you ever been in a fight over over like a girl or comedy or anything or dumb shit? Oh like that? yeah, hell yeah. You been in fights before? Yeah, 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 hell yeah. Um, true story. It's, it's college. <laughs> lame as fuck too. It's lame. <laughs> it's lame. Um. Okay, so in college, everybody gets together and they have smoke sessions. Where'd you go to college? Uh, I went to Prairie View and Okay. Yeah, yeah, I went right. to PV. So, nice. um, didn't finish, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah me either. I went, to, I went to A&M Corpus Christi. So okay, there you, I go. Yeah. you there. <laughs> there you go. I was out there for everything but school. Like, yeah, you know what I'm exactly. Like, just exactly. one of those dumbasses. Um, yep. But now I had this girlfriend at the time in particular, and um, and I feel like she knew what she was doing. She called me one day. 
It's like, man, this guy just mm. just weirdly pulled up on me. Like she was walking. Like, you know, they had, you know, you had a shuttle system on campus. And yeah, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. She was walking to the shuttle, and a guy pulled up and was like, hey, uh, you know what I'm saying, man, you should smoke. And pulled out some black and miles. Mm-hmm. Like, out of all things, like, not weed. Like, oh, just, yeah, man, uh, we should... We should smoke these black and miles. And then, so the way that she's walking. tough sell, dude. <laughs> Bro, like, what like, the what? fuck? <laughs> like, what the, what the fuck? So the way, the way she was walking is on campus, but it's off campus, like, on the street. So if, he, if she's walking and he's driving up on the car, you know what I'm saying, pulling up in the car and shit, it's just weird. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it's very threatening. So she called me or whatever, talking about this guy and guy. You know what I'm saying? So I, I turned into the Hulk instantly. Who? Well, like who? Who the fuck wants to smoke pipe cigars? Like who the fuck <laughs> yeah, invites yeah. a girl? Like who's that? Tell tell him meet me in the back, uh, oh, in the back no. of Brookside. Like yeah, yeah. T- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell him meet me in the back row. Waiting for this dude all day, <laughs> all day. All day. <laughs> and then we start um from now for real for real because <laughs> oh, come to shit. find out he followed her, so he was like a fan. Like she's not a celebrity in that, oh. but, but he just followed her on the socials. I thought you meant physically. I was like, damn. No, 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 no. Hell no. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, <laughs> stalker. Shit. Yeah, yeah. So he followed her and shit. So I found him, get to calling him out and all that shit. Like I'm, I'm on ten. Like I'm like, who the fuck? I think I was. I wasn't mad that he tried to talk to her. I think I was more mad that. It was cigars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like your your opening statement was about some eighty six cents cigars that you buy from the store. Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel so played. It just She's worth me. more than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't even at least get a gram. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, motherfucker. Like, yeah, I was so offended by that. I'm on the socials. My homeboy see me arguing with people. This back when Twitter was up. Like this is when Twitter was. Like, yeah, I'm tweeting. Yeah. yeah, I'm tweeting them. I'm tweeting them heavy. I'm like, Dude, what's you know. going on? I'm like, I'm like, it's about to go down. Come to the back of Brookside. Like, you know what I'm saying? Meet me over here. This guy pulls up three cars deep. <laughs> like four shit. hours later. Shit. Three cars deep, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about deep. Like 15 people. The car to people <laughs> ratio <laughs> didn't add up. Like, how the fuck did you get so many people in three cars? Yeah. Like, I don't know. But yeah, no, nah, we had a nice little fight and shit. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we went rounds. Like we 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 had a fight, took a break, came back, had another fight, <laughs> took a break. Holy shit! Yeah, no, that that was a fun day. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, dude, were they Mexican? No, no, no exactly <laughs> right, exactly right. You would Shut think with three cars and 15 people. Yeah, you would fucking think. Damn, dude, that's funny, man. It was a good day. Shit, dude, <laughs> that's so funny. That's you know, it's you're hemmed up, you're jammed up when you're tweeting at someone to fight them. Bro, I'm <laughs> yeah. tweeting in all caps, like this, this is like ten years ago. Bro, I'm tweeting like hard, like. Oh man, bro, that's so cringe. Lame. That's that's probably the lamest. It's like shit yeah, I it's ever cringe. Did. It's and lame like, when you look <laughs> back on it, like Facebook memories. Like yeah. you fucking dude. <laughs> I've if you want to ruin your fucking day on self confidence, just I open up Facebook memories sometimes. Oh and it's man, so cringe. I'm like, dude, Ugh. like why did I say? I start archiving pictures and shit from 2009. It still <laughs> happens today, <laughs> yeah. but you don't know it. You don't realize it when you're in it until like you realize it later. And uh, yeah. like, dude, recently, like uh, I was at Guitar Center and I saw this. Uh, I saw this black guy. Black guy, cool ass, old ass car, right? I don't know what it is about old cars, classic cars, but it fucking, I love it. So I just no, want classic cars are the shit. I want to compliment yeah. him on his car, right? So I was mm-hmm. like, "Hey man, nice car." He's like, "Oh, thanks, man. Thank you, brother, or whatever." Mm-hmm. And I wanted, I needed to put a button on it. Yeah, right. I wanted to put <laughs> a button extra. on the end. It. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, um, "Keep shining." I was like, what? I was like, why did I just say keep shining, dude? I was like, what the fuck? Am I in a goddamn fucking 90s hip hop video? Like, That's what? when you don't know what to say, but you just want to yeah, leave a I wanted positive. To say yeah, I something. I was like, I've never said keep shining in my life. I was like, why did I, I, like, why did I just say but it on now that day. to a black guy? I was yeah. like, fuck, did he think I was racist? I was like, god damn. You sound like it. the intro to a rap song. Yeah, you know I was saying? like, keep shining. Oh, shit. Yeah, keep yeah. Going. Sound like Birdman. <laughs> Yeah, That's dude, exactly. Birdman will ruin a song if you. Like oh, a song, he's ruined put Birdman several on it. Double digit numbers. I sent a song. song to Ryder the other day. It's called 442 with uh, Currency, Lil Wayne, and Birdman. I'm like, dude, just That's check a... out after Lil Wayne's. Verse. Right, I'm like, right. Don't listen to Birdman because Birdman gets on and fuck it up. Shit. 
Ah oh, man, this was fun, dude. No, nah, this, this is dope, dope, dude. Yeah, Thanks yeah, for yeah. coming, dude. You made me laugh so hard again, on man. this podcast today. I really appreciate it. It was fun. You got anything to promote? Where can people find you? Uh, um, shows, anything like that? Instagram, um, <laughs> underscore underscore C Wayne. Um, YouTube, Billy Jean Grandson. Uh, Twitter, the real C Wayne. Facebook, the real C Wayne. Uh, shout out to uh, San Antonio's most wanted. All hours of comedy. Uh, Shout out to you, bro. You've been hustling, grinding, and doing your thing, man. This is actually a nice setup. Uh, I want to take one of these little foam squares home, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just want one of them for some reason. Like, <laughs> this is dope. Like, I, I, I can tell by the things you have in here that somebody has Amazon Prime. I don't know if it's, <laughs> I don't know if it's you. <laughs> I don't know if it's Pat, like, <laughs> it's somebody Pat. getting their shit within two business days around this bitch. That's all I'm saying. It's a dope setup. I'm really, really, really proud of you guys. You guys are taking big leaps, man. Oh, dude, thank and, you, man. And I hope, uh, let's just do some more work, man. Yeah, I'm man, absolutely, bro. dude. We'd yeah, love yeah. to work with you in the future some more, man. You're a complete, complete joy, dude. It yeah. made me really happy that you came through today, had yeah. fun, made me yeah, laugh. Yeah. It was dope. Um, thank you for being here, dude. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Jakey5 underscore. Follow the DMHB pod on Instagram at DMHB pod. DMHB. Check out Los Dos Meduanos and mm -hmm. check out Barbacoa Core on mm -hmm. YouTube while you're there. That's where you'll find this podcast. Check out all the other podcasts we got on there. It's dope. We're trying to build it up. Like, share, like, share, subscribe. It's a free way to support the show. And thanks. We out. Is up. Peace. <laughs>